Okay, now we're down in the engine room. So while there is not full stand-up headroom, you have over five feet, four inches of headroom. So to the left and right of the camera, as he pans around, you'll see our two large aluminum fuel tanks. Uh, they're each 375 gallons for a total of 750 gallons of fuel. The main plants that you're looking at are the Cummins QSB 6.7 liter 542 horsepower engines. So they will push this boat at a comfortable cruise between 18 and 20 and a high cruise of 21. At high cruise you're burning just around 40 gallons an hour which is pretty efficient for a 54 foot boat weighing over 55,000 pounds. Uh, as you look to starboard, you'll see our air conditioning units. In addition to the Seafire uh, fire suppression system in the engine, we've got our uh, engine intakes here, which again we talked about the outside. These are your blowers uh, to keep the he uh, heat and humidity and salt particulate out of the engines. Uh, behind the camera, you, which you'll see in a second, are the Raycar fuel filters for the main engines. And we have a hot water heater, a fresh water pump, and an evac uh, expansion tank over to my port. Uh, all the breakers that you're seeing behind me are all part of the C-Zone system uh, that I explained up top. Uh, this this boat, which I hadn't mentioned, but this is a straight shaft boat. This is not a pod boat. Um, it does have the capabilities to act like a pod boat with our joystick system, uh, which allows us, again, to control our bow thrusters, stern thrusters, and main engines all at the same time. So that's a quick tour of the engine room on the Summit 54.